Hey everybody out there, I'm super excited to share this episode with you this week. I've got two bands currently on tour together. Check out the dates, get to a show. Very pumped to bring this one to you. This is episode 51 of In It to Spin It with Solids and Pup. Start off with some record finds. Uh, this one's called Mason Prophet, a David Crosby project I was not aware of. Haven't got around to listening to it. Apparently it's fantastic. Good country, alt rock. A clean copy of The Doors Soft Parade. Oddly enough, I've never owned this record. Probably my last Doors album I'll buy. The first Rush, nice clean copy of that too. This I was super happy to find my first MC5 record. It's pretty banged up. Yellow Magic Orchestra, these guys are apparently the uh, Japanese Kraftwerk, electronic stuff. Speaking of which, can't wait for this show to roll around. This is the find of the day though, Vancouver Classic 1980 Subhumans record, their first LP. Early punk, good stuff on there. The back has a poster, which I do own a copy of, an original 11 by 17 promo poster. There's another Subhumans one here. And we'll leave it out on that for you. So first up, we sat down with Louie and Xavier before their gig at the Media Club. I can't say enough about how much I love this record. Uh, Blame Confusion, it's their debut. So, so great. I've listened to it many times already. Good kraut rock influences in there. Hopefully you can hear them over the pup sound check, but check out how it went down. Urgent, uh, great uh, guitar music under the name Solids. Say hi to everybody out there, guys. Hey, guys. Hey. Uh, debut album, right? Uh, Blame Confusion out on Dynalone and Fat Possum. Uh, only three weeks old, so it's an exciting time for you guys. Um, let's. Uh, you guys are young band, so give us the rundown on the formation of the duo as we know it today. How did you uh, guys come to be playing together, Solids? Uh, we used to play. Um uh, we could say hardcore band, oh, yeah? called Expectorated Sequence together. We used to play bass in that band. Both in Montreal, right? Both yeah, in Montreal, both, yeah. <laughs> and, um, and yeah, at some point we just started jamming. We, we used to arrive like maybe earlier than the other guys. Oh, okay. And uh, yeah. I Bonding had, like, time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had like those those riffs that that couldn't really fit in the in the band but okay yeah maybe not so much hardcore and, yeah and, I, <laughs> and, and I knew uh, like who was a, a good drummer that I wanted to yeah play music with so okay yeah and then here we are um, are you guys happy with the way Blame Confusion came out and tell us a little about the recording process yeah well actually yeah. it was uh, probably like the, the best experience I've, I've had so far like That's recording nice. something yeah and uh, yeah, we worked with uh, Adrian Popovich and uh, Joseph Donovan at Mountain City Studios in Montreal. Okay. And uh, it happened like really fast, actually, like really yeah. quickly. No, well, you always work like we tend just like book studio like in three months yeah, and just, just like just setting like, a deadline and be yeah. like <laughs> it has to be done by then and just. And so just work at it, pound it. Yeah, and yeah, it, 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 I think we we got the tracks and. About like a week and a half, maybe two weeks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, and yeah, the mixing was was really quick too. So yeah, it, it, the, the the process of the recording really yeah. didn't take that long. Yeah. And Adrian really knew like what we wanted and how yeah, we wanted yeah. to sound like really compared to Jarek Dogs, our first uh, EP, which was like way more mellow and yeah, yeah, it was less. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, less. Uh, I don't know. Okay. It was uh, was still was still good, but not as um, I don't just contrasting or something. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think it sounds great. Um, <laughs> point out a couple Thanks. of standout tracks: uh, Cold Hands, uh, Terminal, the album ender, and uh, well, my, my favorite, Blame Confusion, which I was just informed that they will not be playing live. <laughs> That's 
okay, but we can take the time to link that here. Uh, it's a great song. Uh, link it right here for you guys. Um, yeah, first time in Vancouver. Yeah. First time it's been cool. Yeah. We've been on a little Canadian trip. It's cool to see the guys from Club tonight in uh, yeah. Vancouver. Thank you for the rest you. of the run. Memorable nights ahead of us. We've got a huge tour. And uh, we can maybe post the tour dates here so people can get out there and see you guys. Sure. sure. And uh, yeah, check out the record, Blame Confusion. I hope uh, it all goes well tonight. I'm really stoked to see you guys in such a small venue. Like Xavier yeah. and... It will uh, sound good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I can assure you that <laughs> the sound check was really good. Cool, cool. I'm stoked. So, Louis, Xavier, thanks. Yes. Uh, thanks, thanks for doing it. Yeah, thanks, thanks, brother. Good. Thank you. Next up, we talked with a young Toronto-based band getting a lot of attention across the border and in Canada. Boisterous pop punk with gang vocals. Their youthful energy and their live show is undeniable. I'm sure you'll be hearing their name a lot. This is Pup. Hey everybody out there, we're glad to be in Vancouver once again at the Media Club uh, with Zach, Stefan, Nestor and Steve who make up PUP. Say hi to everybody out there guys. Hi, hi. 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 Welcome back. Uh, you guys were just here on a bill with uh, the Zolas and Colorado and uh, it was amazingly your first time in the city and uh, you get to play the Commodore. Yeah. I was talking to you, that's uh, pretty awesome. Yeah. So uh, I definitely remember your guys' set. Um, we really liked it. It was high energy, so it'll be great to see that translated into such a small venue here. I think it's going to burn it down, I think, like you said on <laughs> <Yeah>. Twitter. Uh, <laughs> you guys have been through hell, apparently, to get here. Drove from Chicago. Crazy yeah. long drive, so yeah. welcome. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Pup, the self-titled debut, came out in October in Canada, right? So sure, we've got yeah. that here. And uh, it's not out till April 8th. Uh, what's the name of the record thing again? Side One Dummy. Side One Dummy, yeah, I've not heard of that. But uh, it's coming out April 8th, the rest of the world. Until then, Canada's, uh, it's your, sort of Canada's little secret right now. <laughs> but um, not so, let's start at the beginning. I, that's a cool story. Not so long ago, you guys all had uh, real jobs, quote unquote. Yep. And uh, I was reading today, you guys just uh, sent off some demos to a favorite producer of yours. And uh, pick it up from there, tell us what happened. Yeah, I, we, there was this record that we used to always listen to in the van. Yeah. It's the Bronx Three by the Bronx. Okay. <laughs> and uh, it was produced by this guy named Dave Schiffman. And when we were talking about doing the record, we sort of like made a list of dream producers and like producers that we never thought we were going to get to work with. Yeah. And at the top of our list was Dave Schiffman. Uh, and we sent him the demos. He was the first person we sent the demos. Yeah. And we didn't expect to hear back from him. And he sent us an email like two days later, three days later. I was like, I love this, let's make a record. And, and a wow. week later, he was in Toronto, like from California. He flew to Toronto and we were working on pre production. Wow, crazy. It was, it was a crazy experience. And yeah. so, because that, uh, that guy you looked up to in production um, took you guys very seriously, obviously, you made that leap of faith of saying, like, listen, this is not going to just be a hobby anymore. And yeah. went for it. That was like, I think that was the day when Shipman emailed us and said, let's do a record where we like all sat down and we're like okay is this for real and we decided that like if you know if Dave thinks that there is potential here yeah. then then now's the time to kind of quit our jobs and focus on making a record and going to work even if it is a pathetic use of potential exactly right <laughs> it's a fun use of potential. yeah no i like fun with a ph, PH. Yeah. yeah i noticed uh pathetic use of potential is an acronym but in hip-hop the acronym for hip-hop that people have put on there is a uh, his or her infinite potential helps overcome problems. And I saw hip hop influences in you guys uh, on your Facebook and stuff, so I thought that you guys sort of twisted it around. But yeah. I know you guys aren't that down on yourselves with pathetic. <laughs> the other one was physically unable to play. It's uh, <laughs> like a sports, yeah, yeah. it's a sports one. Yeah. Or, uh, the, no, the one that you suggested was the best one, it was previously uncut penis. Yeah, you can That's just keep going. Yeah, just go. you can riff on it, right? Every right. interview, you just change it. Unicorns, puppies. Yeah, yeah. 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 nice. Uh, the previous name of the band was Topanga. I mean, you guys changed that for various reasons. I think that's been covered. We won't get into that. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. that. I just want to mention that because 
there are some YouTube videos that are still under you as Topanga out there. So same band, you can see the young uh, young sessions of Pup. We'll get our, uh, our legal team on that. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure, right. um, so I haven't actually heard much of this record. I've only heard, I think, Guilt Trip and Reservoir. Uh, and saw the live show, so that was enough for me to get in touch with you guys. But from what I've heard, uh, it's a raw, energetic sound. Uh, tell us a little bit about the recording of the debut with uh, Dave. Sure. We, we did it like live off the floor yeah. for the most part. I don't know. We just sort of wanted to make a record that we thought represented our live show. And we had made uh, like recordings and stuff with people yeah. um, previously um, and just kind of felt like it didn't really capture what we were about and what what we wanted the, the recordings to sound like. Uh, and so Dave was totally down and we, we just like got together every day and like played the songs and tried to make it sound like the best live show. That was like what Dave kind of tried yeah. to push I, us I, to do. I think the best example is like, we had one of our simplest songs, uh, Back Against the Wall, is also one of our oldest. And we were recording that and he was listening in the booth and he's like, it sounds like you guys are thinking about it too much. Like, just go off the rails. Like, just like, yeah. and so it took us like 15 tries, to, like 15 takes to do that. Yeah, and like, I think we finally got so frustrated by playing it that we just like, just killed wild it. out, just like, and yeah. like live, hopefully that comes across. And okay. he was like, that was perfect. And it sounded like, to us, it sounded like shit, but it's like in hindsight that's exactly the spirit that we yeah. want to capture so well i read in an article that you guys said that you, there's mistakes on the record but you're happy mm. with them yeah. so now yeah. i'm now that i own the vinyl i'm, I'm yeah, excited like, to, <laughs> to, to try and go through that's all like yeah. Yeah. yeah um what else are we going to talk about uh lead single reservoir right yeah um, we can talk about that uh maybe not just talk about it but link it right here for the people at home uh, it's a great video. I think, again, it captures the live energy. Thanks. And uh, I think, going back to that, uh, it's a good lesson you guys learned about wanting to have a live feel. Like, you said you had recorded stuff earlier, but luckily that wasn't your first record, so you knew what you wanted to do. It sounds like focused on your mm -hmm. the yeah. sound and stuff. Um, when you guys get together in jam spaces or sit down with the pen, I mean, are you the head writer, or do you guys all collaborate, or...? Uh, it's like the main, main uh, guy. I, like, I usually bring in the songs at the beginning, but the songs are so drastically different yeah. uh, once we get done with them. And it's a long process for us. I mean, it's like easily a month or two of in the basement working on one song. Yeah. Uh, so the final product is is totally different from Okay. From what and what makes a good pop song to you guys, be it uh, what subject matter do you like writing about or musically? Uh, I think musically, uh, one sort of, uh, one of our philosophies is like try to make songs sound weird. Sorry, try try to take weird songs and make them sound normal. Okay. Uh, so we like you know I, I write I tend to write by melody instead of by rhythm or, or whatever. So uh, melodies I come up with are sometimes they don't make sense or like yeah. five four or seven four or whatever, and uh, and the goal is sort of to make them not sound weird. Okay. So like, make them sound like a punk, heavy rock song that uh, to the average listener, they realize something's a bit cool and unique, yeah, but they, 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 they can't put their finger okay. on it. That's, that's sort of, outlook. that's always kind of been sort of the, the goal, I think. Uh, and in past bands that I played in, like the band members would take those, the melodies that I've written yeah. and just box them into 4-4 four, four, or 3-4 four, and these guys are not like that. They okay. hear it in a totally different way than I hear it and in a totally different way than I think most people would hear the songs. Okay. Uh, and so the result is, to me anyways, is, is pretty interesting. It's like unique. Yeah. the songs end up sounding totally different than, than what I imagined them to sound like. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's a good insight into the writing process of Pop here. Um, well, like I said, you guys ripped it up at the Commodore. I can't wait to see you in uh, this venue and uh, check out Pup, self titled uh, debut out now. So thanks, thanks for being here with us, guys. Cheers. Yeah, thank you.